guys, it's Nicola. So I'm not sure how the sound is gonna be. Hopefully it's loud enough. I had to bring out my camcorder um, in order to record. I bought this, I bought the camcorder for me to record, but my stubborn ass has been using my laptop because it's comfortable to just be able to press that fucking button and, and move and not have to do all the extra stuff. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of extra stuff now, but it's cool, it's an upgrade. Um, and I tried to do it on my iMac and it sucked, so. We gonna use the camera. All right, so let's see what Zodiacs we're pulling for today. But like I said, hopefully the volume is fine. All right, well, we got five, so God damn it. First time we have a Taurus, all right, in the building. I, this is my second pull and Taurus came out first, um, the first time as well. We got Libra, okay. Venus, that's, that's, Ven that's Venus energy. Okay, we got Scorpio. Okay, that's my sister sign, right? We have Leo. All right, all right. And the last sign we're pulling today is Aries. Okay. All right, so let's see what messages we have from these zodiac guys. And remember to think of your questions. I'm gonna pull from the yes and no oracle cards. Think of your questions, have them ready. So when I pull the cards, you can all you can just be ready to answer. If you guys need to pause, I guess now would be the time or whenever I get done with this. I hope I don't look weird, but I really don't care. All right, so let's see what messages we have for the collective. Get my stuff in the camera. All right. So we have Pisces, Pluto energy here in the 11th house all right so let's see what the 11th house is 11th house is good fortune okay good fortune comes with this house it signals friends those who may help you protection riches gifts joy renewed hope praise and group activities i'm claiming it okay we have um the energy of pisces here so let's see pisces is compassion escapism innocence a person in your life that may be acting dishonestly so some of you guys you could either you know be somebody could be not honest to you you could be not honest to yourself um i hope i don't look like a raccoon because i did not even touch up my face and stuff but whatever we also have the um energy of pluto here so pluto is about transformation power death rebirth and evolution so i'm taking it as some of you guys are in the space of evolving um especially with good fortune like the the 11th house is about good fortune so i really feel like there is some sort of evolution or transformation in your life that is a good transformation all right so let's see here we're going to pull from the yes or no oracle cards if you guys would like to purchase this deck it's in the, the link is in the description you can just check it out on my website at www.intimatewisdom.net in the shop section you can also book in the book now section if you guys would like to book a session a session with me my calendar opens february the 2nd but it's open for you to book now all right so let's see here what messages what guidance i mean blah, 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 that's not right all right so for question number one what answer do we have for the collective for question number one as I'm shuffling, if you guys need to pause, you can do that. What answer do we have for question number one for the collective? Okay, we're going to take the first one that failed. We got positive. Okay, if you guys can see that. So for some of you guys, the answer is a yes, a positive. Okay, what answer do we have for the second question for the collective? Okay, we got C, baby. Okay, so some of you guys, we got two yeses. We on a roll. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I ain't, I don't have any questions, so I'm just it's just positive energy for me. All right, so let's see what message. I mean, what uh, answer we have for the third question? What answer do we have for the third question for the collective? What answer do we have for the third question for the collective? What answer do we have? Okay, we got no. Ooh, big no. Oh shit. Um, so the answer is no. I'm gonna still take that as a positive because maybe it's something I you know that needs to be rejected. I don't know. All right, so we're going to get started with the affirmations. I'm pulling from the self-love affirmation deck. If you guys would like to purchase this deck, the link is also in the description. You can also check her out, her out on IG at 1111affirmations. All right, so let's see. What affirmations do we have for the collective today? Okay, give me two more. What affirmations? Okay. Give me one more affirmation for the collective today. All right, we got three. So the first one we have is self-help. Uh oh that's upside down i have the strength to keep going i know my path leads to peace okay all right so the second message we have is self-pleasure we all like that 
says, I have so much to celebrate about myself in this beautiful world. Okay. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see the cards. I'm not sure what it looks like, y'all. So I'm just getting to how I live right now. All right. We got self-discipline here. It says, I'm ready to work and willing to wait. Each is worth the reward. You better know it. All right. So we're going to pull now the read. We're pulling from the Tarot Wisdom deck. If you guys would like to purchase this deck, the link is in the description. You can also check it out on my website, intimatewisdom.net, in the shop section. All right. So what messages do you have for the collective? just making sure that I I dropped these early and I was making sure that I didn't see any around here they drop right here so we got five of ones here Woo. so some of you guys could be having some conflicts within your wealth could be changing your energy to obtain something wealthy okay um, you could be conflicted by some sort of commitment that you've made like I said, five of wands, it definitely represents a conflict within your energy it could also represent you needing to change how you interact with something all right, and that conflict can be ex internal or external. So we have the Seven of Swords. Ooh, there is some sort of deception here. So someone could be lying. Um, we pulled that in the Zodiac Dice, and that's what that represents. It also represents needing to choose new thoughts or needing to choose, um, willfully choose something. Um, with the full energy here, for some of you guys, you could be either lying to yourself or you could be in a space of having some sort of escapism and really trying to have a new start so if you're having conflicts with something that you committed to you may be trying to escape it mentally without actually taking the steps necessary to dissolve a situation listen you need to do what's necessary to move you out of situations don't escape them mentally and still physically keep yourself um conflicted in it you need to change your energy so full energy here is definitely about walking in faith um you got a new path here for a lot of you guys you got a new beginning that you're being guided to so it's really about just kind of moving toward that not being too much in your head like actually making the decision to move toward this new beginning so for a lot of you guys it's just as simple it's just as simple as kind of changing how you interact or changing your energy but you're you're being guided toward a new path So we have the two of wands here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be at a crossroads, okay? Kind of in the space of needing to make um, a decision. We got the seven of wands, I mean the eight of wands in reverse. So you're at a crossroads here, that's 10 wands. Some of you guys are burdening yourself because you're, you're in a space of not moving forward. You're needing to move forward, but it requires you to focus on that. So some of you guys, this is really about you focusing on investing your energy moving forward for yourself. I feel like you're escaping that sort of energy. You could also be dealing with someone on the external that you're unable to move forward from, I'm guessing, is what I got. But you can, it's just about really going and taking dominion of your own choices over or of your own energy. So Eight of Cups energy here, I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's really a need to get on a new path. Eight of Cups is about getting on a new path emotionally and spiritually. Um, it can also represent like abandoning success of something, but you're abandoning success because Seven of Cups is an illusion, meaning you've you've had some illusionary success. You thought you won at something, but you didn't. So this is about abandoning that path so that you can move toward, toward true success for yourself. Will of Fortune here. So once you go down this new path, there's definitely a change here. A fortunate change, good fortune, especially what we read with the 11th house. So there's good good change here, good fortune here with these seven of pentacles here. For a lot of you guys, this has to do with your investment. So you could be investing into something new. There may be some instabilities within the investment because for a lot of you guys, it may require you to kind of have patience um, to wait for some seeds to come into fruition. All right. So whatever you're you're dealing with, it does it is gonna bring wealth under here. Ace of Swords here with the Ten of Pentacles. It is gonna bring wealth, but it does require you to kind of be stable within your energy and really kind of move in faith. 
you know I, I said this once before and I'm gonna say it again a lot of times when we have these new paths that we need to take we want to see what's gonna happen before we move but really and truthfully you just need to move you don't need to know what happened listen if we knew everything that was gonna happen in this life we would have no purpose of being here you feel me we, we just be a plant or a fucking blade of grass just chilling because everything's already you know made out for us it's it's supposed to be this sort of learning process not sort of it's supposed to be this learning experience so for a lot of you guys you you know when you in school you're learning in order to graduate in life you're learning every lesson every every challenge every situation or circumstance you're in you're learning in order to graduate graduation is when you move to toward the next level or you ascend you're not supposed to know all the answers how you how are you going to be able to be tested in the right way if you know all the answers before you go so for a lot of you guys you're in the space of really not moving forward not investing your energy forward because you're afraid you you don't know so you're kind of at a standstill you need to really move in faith it is about you learning it's a learning process and um, some things even the blessings you have to learn certain things or you have to evolve to a certain ascension in order to receive them so let's clarify we have the seven of swords energy here why is the seven of swords here why is the seven of swords here all right so we have the five of pentacles eight of pentacles and the emperor so for a lot of you guys you're worried about investing in this new life um there's some sort of co-creation that is necessary yeah ace of pentacles under here i didn't even get it out all the way so there's a, there's a investment here there's a co-creation that's happening here but there's a lot of unstable thoughts there's a lot of um i don't know if it's deceptive thoughts towards someone else because someone could be lying to you you feel me you could be in a space of um Ch there's a challenge within the foundation a challenge within the investment because it requires some sort of co-creation and the co-creation could be you you know co-creating with the universe or co-creating with someone in order to build this wealth or in order to create this wealth but either there's some deception on your end or deception on another person in which creates this lack within the investment you have this new opportunity with the ace of pentacles but for a lot of you guys in order for you to get there you have to cooperate eight five minus eight is three pentacles so for a lot of guys you have to cooperate you have to again with the empress you have to co-create this new beginning so you really need to escape um being you know not stable within your energy you need to find the will to choose this new beginning i feel like for a lot of you guys it's a choice and you're escaping that you're you're in the space of not wanting to make a choice but you have to make a choice like in life i mean you have to make a choice you either go this way or go that way you can't go both ways it's impossible you're only one one entity you feel me even though we're all connected energetically you're one and you know conscious wise you're one physical entity so you have to choose a path you either choose to stay in the path you're in or you choose to move down a different path and evolve so with this full energy here there's a new beginning here that you're being guided to but again with the lover's card it requires a decision so why is this full energy here we got eight of cups here so yeah for a lot of you guys you have to abandon success of the illusions that you've had previously this could literally be someone needing to abandon that old way of thinking you know old earth energy and move toward this new um, perspective move toward these new blessings move toward this new energy that's coming in there is an a, a, a an emotional like withdrawal that is necessary so some of you guys you could be emotionally connected to something of your past that may not be healthy it may be like a, a, a old peridium so you're needing to i think i said that right a old you know belief or a way of living and you're needing to kind of readjust that and kind of focus on moving down this new path maybe spiritually um emotionally yeah, Ten of Swords, for a lot of you guys, it really is about embracing the end of difficulties, understanding that you're in the energy of obtaining good fortune and, and you know, beautiful things in this life, but you're being guided toward there. In order for you to get that, you got to let go of what was. Like, you can't go to a new life holding on to your old way of being. Every time you go into a new circumstance, a new job, a new relationship, there's new energy, there's new things to be learned. You can't go into it based off of what you thought from other situations other circumstances or other relationships you literally got to go in with a clean slate that's the i mean this is the full energy it's a clean slate this is the flower of life it's the beginning of things coming together so for a lot of you guys in order for this new beginning to come in you literally have to choose willfully choose to start over have a clean slate and begin this new cycle so hermit here um the full energy is aquarian energy hermit here virgo energy why is this hermit here 
And I feel like for a lot of you guys, this path is healing because the hermit, I put this, I put this as the Reiki symbol because this is like a universal healing. The hermit, even though the hermit is a God, there's a universal healing that occurs when you follow in your path. So with the Knight of Cups here and the Knight of Wands, this is definitely movement. You're being guided to move. And I feel like the energy is going to heal you, but I feel like you gotta go now. Uh, tower is now so I do feel like you got to go now some of you guys could also be healing from a shift and that could be kind of propelling you to move forward if you've had something that ended in your life um, transformed in your life changed in your life you're being healed as well as guided toward this path but again lovers card here you have to choose it I mean it's not nothing sometimes you know it feels like we are kind of thrown in situations but we're not we're sometimes we're literally led there through the circumstances and the shifts that occur in our life but we are technically choosing i mean you could choose your old house could burn up around you and you could choose to stay there you feel me you could choose to if you survive it you know you could choose to, to stay out until the house is you know put out and then go back and live in that burnt up ass fucked up ass house that's your choice now it wouldn't be you know safe nor would it be healthy for you but it's a choice but logically if your house was to catch a fire and you escape the house you would not go back into the house while it was burnt you would either have it rebuilt which would be which would make it a new home or you would choose to move into a new home more than you know i'm, not, I'm gonna say about 95 percent of people would choose to rebuild something new or or go towards something new i don't think you know people would technically choose to stay in 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 a in a place where everything was destroyed and you could have literally went through some sort of physical transformation in your life some sort of you know emotional transformation in your life and you have to choose to not stay in that energy you have to choose to rebuild something new to change your energy in order to rebuild something wealthy for yourself so we have the lovers card here which is a choice and we have the nine of swords here, two of pentacles. So some of you guys, you're having anxiety about making this change. Even though two of pentacles is a harmonious change, I feel like for a lot of you guys, nine swords minus two swords, that's the seven swords. So that's why you're in a space of having some anxiety. Either there's some deception dealing with the situation or some instability, like someone wasn't investing the way that they should have. So there could be a sort of nervousness or anxiety that's occurring with that. But this is blocking your path. So your anxiety in making a good decision is blocking this path forward. You got to make a fucking decision. I'm going to tell you this and I'm, I'm going to keep saying it every day until, you know, we get it. No decision is a wrong decision. Either you're going to get a lesson or a blessing. And you, and you know, a lot of times we don't want to get the lesson because we know that the lesson sometimes associate, is associated with pain. But the pain is necessary for us to evolve. So if you don't make a decision, you're continuing to choose to be in a situation that is going to require you to still learn. Um, so either way it go, and, and mind you, not making a choice is a fucking choice. Like, I don't think people get that. Like, say for instance, if you... Um, like I always say with, with jobs, say for instance, you want a better paying job and you only make in $750. If you choose to stay at that job and not pursue a better paying job, you are choosing to accept the $7.50. You can choose to go toward a higher paying job by aligning your energy with being in alignment with what you want. Now, I know a lot of people are like, well, I'm not qualified for a better job get qualified listen there are steps that you can take to make sure that you can get in alignment with what you desire there's like where there's a will there's a way if you have a reason why you can't move it's just an excuse so you know take that up with yourself because you have to be the one to change the energy in your life and i don't you know i ain't trying to make nobody feel no type of way when i say that but it's just the truth you know choosing i mean not choosing is technically a choice okay and someone's in a space of of feeling like you know this new path may bring burdens but listen let me tell you something no matter what you do in life there are always going to be obstacles you have to be the one to understand that you know i might get obstacles in every path that i got but i'm i was strong enough to come over to overcome every obstacle that i faced previously so i'm strong enough to overcome this fucking obstacle now okay don't ever give up just because you feel like or you or you think within your mind that maybe you don't have what it takes you do because you'd have made it to where you are now so just continue to push forward keep, continue to move forward we got the two of wands here two of wands energy is definitely about choosing a new path 
So magician here, ten of, like I said, for a lot of you guys, the reason why you're in the space of having this instability within your thoughts, this seven of swords energy here with this two of wands, is you're being presented with this new path. But like I said, you're manifesting burdens for yourself because you're you're not investing in the in this new path the way that you should. You have a choice. Two of Wands is making a choice to really take dominion over your energy. You don't want to manifest more obstacles in your way because of your instability to really invest in what it is that you desire. You have to continue to invest in being in alignment with whatever it is you want. Again, not choosing is a choice. So set Eight of Wands here in reverse. Some of you guys, I feel like you're afraid... Like you're already dealing with burdens. You're already dealing with bullshit as it is. You're needing to change how you interact within your life, within circumstances, within relationships, because you're not moving forward. You're needing to focus on moving forward. Don't continue to invest in conflict. Like invest in shit that brings peace of mind. In this, in this 2021, if it causes confusion in your life, conflict in your life, causing you to have anxiety, move the fuck away from it. Okay? Or face the anxiety. Like face the fucking fear. Face whatever's creating the fear. So we have, and like I said, once you face a fear, it no longer holds power over you. So we got the eight of wands in reverse. Some of you guys are choosing not to move forward, and it is a choice. I know you say you're not moving forward, but you're choosing not to move forward. Um, and this could be based off of your beliefs. Five of wands, some of you guys got some conflicts within your belief, or possibly conflicts within a relationship. Higher and king of cups with the lovers here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is about really choosing... Now, you may be choosing not to move forward with someone. Um, could be a father figure here. Uh, for some of you guys, I feel like there's not an investment of energy here. Like, you're choosing not to invest energy here based off of your beliefs. You're choosing to stay. Choice, the, the lover's card is a choice. Hierophant is a, based on your beliefs. And King of Cups is based on what you feel. So for a lot of you guys, you're choosing not to move forward based off of what you feel. Which, in all honesty, is a conflict. Five ones under here. This is the conflict here. The conflict is you're not moving forward. You're, gr you're being given this opportunity to create something solid. To create something wealthy. And it may require you to commit to it. But there's a conflict because some of you guys may be committed to something else. And you're choosing not to move forward. You're not focusing your energy on what it is that you truly desire. Again, that is a choice. So you have to, like, you got to choose what's best for you. If you feel like that's what's best for you, then you have to deal with the consequences that are, are, that are occurring from that. But the fact that I'm pulling it up means you know it's not the best for you. So King of Wands here. Why is this King of Wands here? Why is this, all right. That's too many. Let's put that back and try again. Why is this King of Wands here? We have Death. King of Pentacles here and Ten of So this is so some of you guys I feel like I feel like you need to focus on transforming whatever you committed yourself to. There could also be like a transformation here. Like under here, Eight of Swords, there may have been some interference. There may have been a shortening of, of energy here. Sun energy here. That's Leo energy. Some of you guys, I feel like there could have been a shortening of some sort of energy, like or a shortening of your will, meaning some of you guys could have been restricting yourself from moving forward based off your lack of confidence or based off you feeling like you were unable to create a path for yourself. That is ending. That's the transformation here. So for a lot of you guys, the transformation is in your energy. You may have been comfortable with an investment, but now King of Wands with the, with the death card, you're very much focused on transforming this. And I feel like you're confident about it too, because for a lot of you guys, you're focused on wealth. And I don't know if it's wealth or your focus. You could be focused on committing to something, committing to something that you feel like is, is you know, good in energy for you. Whatever the case might, may be. King of Wands here with the Eight of Cups. You're committing to abandoning success of something in order to change your fortune. Now, it does require, again, an investment from your part. So for a lot of you guys, you're being guided down this new path. Change the way you're interacting. Um, you know, kind of change how you're choosing to come or, or change how you're investing in order for this will to turn so we got the will of fortune here now they could someone could have already made this change and i could be reading their current energy but if you have made this change this is just like a waiting game now with the seven of pentacles the seven of pentacles represents planting the seeds now some of you guys the fortune you could have planted the seeds of fortune and you're waiting for them to blossom but there's a conflict within the energy maybe even a conflict with the commitments so if you planted seeds in a new place it could be conflicting with the the seeds you've already planted or the seeds that have already bloomed and you know what i tell you even you could have 
beautiful fucking carnations growing in your garden. But say you want roses. Say them carnations, you know, they're pretty, but they're not what you want. You like to pull them fucking carnations up. You know, they may be, they may have been good for a while, but your taste change, your your desires change. So you got to pull that shit up now and plant some new seeds. You got to plant these roses and nurture them so they can grow and they can be what you truly desire. You may have only planted the carnations because, you know, your, your great auntie gave them to you and you didn't want to let her down, but you really ain't even like carnations. You feel me? You was just like dealing with it but based off of the fact based off of circumstance because somebody gave it to you but you really wanted roses so you got to pull them carnations up like you got to make room in your garden you feel me even if you move to another garden you got you got to have some free space in order to plant that so we got the will of fortune here why is this will of fortune here we got the nine of wands here we have a ten of cups here and we have the queen of pentacles so for a lot of you guys there is a change here there's a fortunate change here but nine of wands in reverse Someone's lacking courage. Someone is not in, in a space of invest or mastering their own energy in order to, you know, flow with this change. So ten of cups, ten of cups here with the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's almost as though now for some of you guys, you may be in a space of having this change because you cannot overcome your emotions um, towards something. There's still some sort of resistance here or some sort of interference here toward this new path. For a lot of you guys, you, you could be. I feel like there is some resistance because it requires strength and with the nine of wands in reverse it's almost like you're you're losing your strength or you feel weak listen you're being guided down a path for a reason you may be in a space of healing but you're not weak healing doesn't make you weak healing makes you strong because you're allowing yourself to recover you're allowing yourself to you know rejuvenate regenerate so that you can become full force again so don't think you're weak because you're hurting or don't think you're weak because you went through something you're not weak Things are changing. Focus on the change. Focus on allowing things to change. Allow that to be your guide and light during this healing process. So with Seven of Pentacles here, there is an investment. Why is it Seven of Pentacles here? Will of Fortune. So for a lot of you guys, you planted the seeds that are going to bring fortune in your life, but it may require you to be patient. Page of Wands here. The good news is it's coming. Yep, Ace of Swords. So the good news is for a lot of you guys, you have this new beginning that is coming. Okay, you're guided down a new path. You know, move in faith. Don't worry, like stop, stop worrying here. Three of Swords here with the King of Swords. For a lot of you guys, you know that there may be some healing is, that is necessary. You know, you may know in your mind, you know, like you may be logically understanding, I just have to heal. So while I heal, I allow these seeds that I've planted to blossom and, and you know, just, just be in a, a space of, of allowing that to happen. Like move in faith. Everything's happening the way that it's supposed to happen in my life. Everything in my life is happening for my greater good. Have, say that mantra if you have to every time you start getting into your head or every time you have anxieties say in your head say out loud not in your head i mean if you want to say it in your head because you want to look crazy i don't give a fuck who hear me say what i gotta say say it everything that is happening in my life is happening for my greater good and then continue to move forward okay don't stop moving all right so we, let's see what messages we have. We're pulling from my Oracle deck. This is the Oracle Wisdom deck. If you guys would like to purchase this, link is in the description. You can also check it out on my website, www.intimatewisdom.net and shop section. All right, so let's see what guidance we have for the collective. Okay. We got self-discovery here. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like you are discovering what it is that you want. You've prayed. You've really went, went within yourself. It says you may... I'm sorry, you may feel as though you've reached your wit's end, like you have nowhere else to turn. What more is there to do? Speak. Call out to spirit, your ancestors, your guides. This is prayer in its purest form. Whether you drop to your knees, invocation at your altar, or simply go on within yourself, the key is to be still and commune with source. So for a lot of you guys, you may need to go within yourself to really understand what you desire and what you want and move with that. That is what's going to guide you down this new path. So we have self-discovery here. It says you are not lost. You do not need to be found. There is no need to wonder who you are and where you are going. The destination and the path is you. It has always been. You have been on this journey your entire life. This life, this existence is all you own. It's, it's, I'm sorry, this existence, it is all you. It has always been you. All right, so we have manifested. Some of you guys, I feel like you've manifested this again. You're being led or guided down a new path. This is something that you've manifested. It says, what do you desire? What is your intention? Now is the time to work your magic. You have the power to create the life you deserve. Be clear in your actions, your thoughts, and move. Okay. There we go. 
all right so this is all i have thank you guys so much um until next time can you come cut it off <laughs>